Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Hopefully you guys have been having a fantastic day uh, and uh, everything else. Today is thir Friday, not Thursday, Friday, April 15th uh, and it's uh, a, well, noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, what we are doing today, um, well... Something very big happened yesterday in my uh, my life, okay, and uh, I just felt like getting on here and uh, taking a little trip and going from there. So we have tires going to bitumen. If we pull that up, we have 51 hours to get there. We do have to take a, uh, a little bit of a rest break um, so we can get our full time back, um, and then we will be heading to Denver, Colorado. Uh, now, if you guys actually, you know, pay attention and, and care about this stuff, um, today is Friday. Normally I record on Sunday, and it's noon, right? So I should be at work. Uh, well, that ties into the other deal of what happened on Thursday, on the 14th, approximately 1500 uh, p.m. or 3 o'clock. Uh, what happened? Everybody would probably be asking now because that's what they, that's what they care about. Um, well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head up here to the, uh, Keep to right the good old sleep and break, right. and then we will, uh, talk about that. Looks like we got a little turn right. red light here first. Now, we are driving the Mac Anthem. Um, I can't remember if I like this truck or not, to be royally honest with you. Let's stop right quick. We got the blinker on. Everybody's stopping, so let's go. We are 40,000 pounds in the box uh, with tires, I think I said. Uh, but uh, yeah, 40,000 pounds, so we're probably at least 72 to 75,000, if I had to guess. Uh, gross Finding vehicle weight. Route. Now let's just get in here, not hit nothing. I am on an Xbox One controller, so uh, it's definitely not as fun as uh, well driving with a wheel or, or in real life anyway. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to swing over here right quick and stop. There we go. Beautiful. Put that on. There we go. And then boom. Turn off the truck. Sleep. And of course it's got to be raining. Ain't that just lovely. So, what is going on? Uh, well, let's get on the freeway and we can find out. Like I said, hopefully everybody is having a fantastic day. We'll just swing back around here. Uh, basically doing a, a U-turn. How do I turn the wipers on? There we go. Or turn them on high so we can see something. All right. Want to make a wide turn. Let's not hit this truck. Very touchy bricks. Wish I had a, a steering wheel for this. Woo! That was, that was kind of tight. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. We have tons of room. Tons of room. What I need to do is get a, a trailer for this truck. But I only have $27,000, so... It's not going to happen. Is my lights on? I have to make sure my lights are on. Mm. Lights. Okay. Yep. Lights are on. All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Uh, how do I... There we go. How do I... Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't have a retarder on my truck. It's just gone the jig. Going for it. And Siri's going to be yelling at me the entire time. Good, because that's your job. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to get on the freeway. It's 30 miles an hour. Uh, don't know how long this episode's going to be. Probably going to be a multiple episode. Uh, but wanted to, uh, like I said, jump on here and tell you guys what's going on. If you are a part of the Discord, then you already know what happened. Um, but yesterday at 1500... Uh, Pacific Standard Time or 3 p.m. Um, yeah, I uh, went and picked up some trash, um, truck trailer, uh, fully loaded, and it was 80,000 um, pounds. Why does this matter? Well, it, it's coming in the, in the in the time. Now, all my all my buddies on here that uh, are trucking uh, trucking people, they will understand what I'm about to say. Good, you're gonna stop. That's basically a red light, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. So I was in, uh, I was going southbound, and uh, all of a sudden this uh, this car uh, comes flying in um, in the fast lane, 
Uh, it started hailing, started raining real hard, uh, and, and, and it was hailing to the point where it was so hard that the road turned into ice. Um, well, what happened was is that this guy, well, I'm hoping it's this one, um, this guy, he uh, lost control and pretty much like the skid marks there, he went uh, like he was going to cut out in front of me. So I was already on the brakes. And, uh, of course, it's not the greatest thing to do in the ice, but, you know, it was either do that or hit the guy. Well, he uh, he starts losing control, and I, uh, I hit the brakes, and all of a sudden, uh, he went head-on into the median. Um, and when he, when he hit the median, uh, he spun uh, and then went basically head-on with me. Uh, he was right in front of me, and we we're going down a, I'd say, about a four percent grade. Uh, nothing too crazy, but you know, not the, uh, not the most, not steep. I guess that's a word. Uh, so, with that being said, I was still on the brakes, locked up the the truck and trailer. At least the trailer uh, says witnesses, uh, and uh, I couldn't stop in time. And that is when I uh, pretty much gave him a little push. Uh, like I said, there was absolutely nothing I could have. I could have done. Uh, like I said, I was 80,000 pounds. Uh, I told the officer that it was 70 to 80,000. I wasn't quite sure how heavy I was, but uh, yeah, uh, when my boss scaled the truck, it was 80,000 pounds. Now, uh, what what happened after that? So he was in front of me, uh, and I I couldn't stop, and I hit him. Um, now I told the cop I wasn't sure if I hit him, he hit me, or we just met in the middle. Um, but that's what happened. He slid about 150 feet off the road, so apparently I hit him pretty good. And uh, so that's what happened there. And then, to make matters even better, uh, his car was absolutely totaled, and the semi that I was in, it wasn't damaged at all. So uh, I have a tow hitch on the front of the truck, and basically that tow hitch went straight into the... Uh, the radiator of his car and it pushed it into the uh, the engine um, so everybody's all right I'm okay uh, he's all right uh, he, he said he was he was from Vancouver Canada British Columbia same thing oh you bastard oh my god okay okay this truck don't like to turn okay but anyway uh, he was uh, from Vancouver, Canada, and I guess he was going to L.A. there in California. And I said, well, you ain't going to make it this time. So that's not, you know, the greatest. Uh, he wasn't very happy, uh, but he was just happy to be alive. And I said, yeah, I would be too, in your case. 76,000. Uh, we're a little bit heavier than I thought. I thought it was going to be about 75,000. But anyway, so with that being said... Like I said, everything was all right. We had like three state troopers, uh, three sheriff cars, and uh, two uh, police uh, police department guys. And so we had everybody, ambulance and, and uh, fire truck there. And what was even worse about it is, is that uh, our accident happened, and there was so much debris in the road that every, that this car stopped on the interstate, and. Then they got uh, rear-ended as well. So, with that being said, um, just wasn't a great day. And then after that, a, a Camaro uh, was rubbernecking, and uh, and this fully loaded semi behind him, about damn near, you know, pushed him off the road as well. So it was uh, a, a very scary uh, thing that happened. I, I tell you what, and uh, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was just scary. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm 25. Um, well, my record was clean. It wasn't my fault. Uh, the cop said that. But, uh, you know, it was the first accident I've ever been in, uh, especially with me driving. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a scary, uh, scary deal. Um, and then I... Uh, had to go t because I'm a commercial driver. I had to uh, go take an alcohol breathalyzer, and I had to uh, do it a UA, which I'm gonna pass, so I'm not worried about that. But that's what I did. And then this morning, 
Uh, I was going to record basically all day and get all caught up and everything else, but this morning I had to fill out a 10-page accident report for the DMV. Absolutely insane. And then I had to talk to uh, my boss, had to talk to my main boss, had to talk to the boss above him, uh, had to talk to HR, had to talk to uh, basically everybody. I had to talk to everybody. And like I said, it wasn't my fault. I mean, it was just kind of... Just kind of, uh, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, essentially. Man, it would be so much easier to have this game with a, with a uh, steering wheel, let me tell you. But they're so expensive, too. But yeah, so that's what happened. Um, like I said, I'm all right, he's all right, everybody's okay. Uh, it was just, uh, just a scary, uh, scary thing that happened. I mean, hopefully I don't have to go through that again, but let me tell you what. Uh, but now, oh God. Thank God you didn't pull out in front of me. But now that that happened, uh, I am on administrative leave uh, until my test results come. Uh, the BAC, or breathalyzer test, that came back immediately. And, uh, you know, so that's not that's not bad. Uh, past that, it was all zeros, which I knew. Uh, but the urine test, it has to be sent to Minnesota. So, and I don't know if they work on Saturdays or not, but... Or, uh, or even today. Well, I know they work today, but it's supposed to be shipped today. And then, you know, so it's going to take time. So basically, I pretty much said that I was just going to be back to work on Wednesday next week. And uh, the best thing that you can do is just get on the horse and, and ride again. You know, you can't be afraid to uh, drive again, which I'm not. Um, now, I couldn't, after the accident, I couldn't drive uh, anything. I was uh, picked up from my supervisor and uh, taken straight to uh, straight to uh, the the UA. So, oh well, that was kind of rough. But yeah. With that being said, it was uh, that was that was my day, and that's what happened yesterday. Very, uh, like I said, very scary. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Don't know why this guy is sitting next to me. I absolutely hate that in real life as well. Trying to just drive as sanely as possible. Okay, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Oh, and then that guy just cuts me off like a prick. Driving with a, uh, a controller instead of steering wheel is a lot harder than one would think. Just saying, just saying. Definitely don't like to drive like this in real life, I, I guarantee you. Oh, hello. I was looking over there. I wasn't paying attention. I think we'll probably drive until about 500 miles. We should. Oh, we're good on fuel. We don't have to get fuel at all. We got 41,000, so that just means my uh, our workers has been uh, doing some good good uh, driving. We should be getting there on Wednesday at 02100. So, yeah, not too terribly bad. About 14 hours or so. So we'll probably get there early. Well, like I said, we'll probably be uh, in the next episode when we get there. But, man, I tell you what. So, my wife, she was freaking out. I mean, understandably. Uh, and uh, pretty much, yeah, every, like I said, everything was all right. Everybody's fine now. I'm pretty sure that guy uh, that uh, was uh, the car... Uh, was uh, is not doing great at this particular moment. He's probably sore as uh, as all hell. But if you do about 70 miles an hour into a uh, concrete wall and then straight into a semi, I can't imagine that being uh, very comfortable. So yeah, so that's that's probably not great. Uh, but hopefully he's all right. Uh, super nice guy. He really was. He. Uh, he jumped out of the car and made sure I was all right, but I was more worried about him, uh, being honest with you, because, I mean, I'm I'm in a semi, right? So, uh, the bumper of which I hit him with, um, you know, it's it's about maybe quarter-inch thick, you know, and it didn't even move. It didn't, uh, didn't do anything. So, could I have done something to avoid the crash? Um, not really. Um. Because, I mean, I was already on the brake as, uh, as much as I could. Uh, my boss called me today, and, and he's driving the same truck that I drove yesterday uh, in the accident. And he was like, man, I tell you what, every time I get out of this truck, 
you smelled nothing but brakes. So we know that you were on the brakes. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, wasn't lying. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I, I tried everything I could to not kill the guy. Um, but, I mean, like, what could I have done differently? Now that the situation is over, what could I have done? And honestly, the I don't, I don't know. Um, I could have drove, like... There was people in the fast lane, so I couldn't go over there. And it was pouring down rain. And the more that I weave that truck, the more dangerous everybody, or the more danger everybody is going to be in. So pretty much I, I just stayed put in the lane. Um, and, it, and it was so close, I don't think even if I swerved, I, I probably still would have hit him, right? So, and, I, and, and you don't swerve, right? Um, unless it's actually reasonable but yeah I, I wasn't gonna swerve and I wasn't gonna you know do anything like that and I was I was really hoping to be honest with you I'm really hoping to uh to slow down enough not to hit him but then at the same time I don't know you know, like if I wouldn't have hit him you know would he have uh yee-haw come on Oh, thank goodness. We, thank God this truck stops a lot faster than the truck I drove yesterday. But, like, if if I would have... If I wouldn't have, uh, you know, hit him to get him off the freeway, then what would have happened? You know, would uh, somebody else hit him? Uh, would he have went under the trailer tires? Uh, you know, would the trailer would have flipped? Would the truck would have flipped? You know, like, there's, there's just so many more variables that could have happened now thinking about it. And I, I think, honestly, that it was just the best-case scenario for what happened. Um, I did hit more on the passenger side, and he he, uh, he flew to the uh, passenger side of my truck. Um, and so he was clear, uh, more than clear off the freeway. Uh, he couldn't get hurt or hit again um, and stuff like that. So, I mean, like I said, I think it was the best case scenario of what happened. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was just it was just scary. But he jumped out, made sure I was all right. I made sure he was all right, called the cops, you know, stuff like that. We had two guys uh, that stopped and, uh, you know, came and checked us out, made sure everything was all right, talked to the cops uh, as well. And, uh, you know, everybody was real real good with that there was no you know fighting arguing stuff like that we were just pretty much happy that we were all okay um, and that's the, also the best case scenario that everybody was okay uh, nobody was you know majorly hurt or, or dead you know and uh, with driving semis that's what is the biggest you know scare uh, is you know people don't realize how heavy we actually are uh, you know 70,000 80,000 at any given moment, pretty much at all times. And some trucks, like this truck on the right here, he's probably, uh, you know, about 99.5 or so, if I had to guess. And uh, when we haul live floors, it has a uh, tri-axle on the trailer and four axles on the truck, and we can haul 99.5. But there's trucks out there, like uh, dump trucks, most dump trucks with trailers can haul up to 105,500 pounds. And I pretty much think... I think that is the maximum you can haul without a permit uh, or like uh, oversized load permits and stuff like that. But that's still pretty pretty sketchy, you know. And, and a lot of people think that uh, because we have, you know, 18 tires, we should have uh, more braking power than cars. And it's, and it's just not true. Uh, you know, a car, it, like uh, I have a Toyota Corolla and my car weighs about 2,500 pounds. And you have four uh, four brakes, and you have about 500 pounds per brake, right? Or maybe like 750 pounds a brake or whatever, right? And with a semi at 80,000 pounds with 18 tires with 10 brakes, you have 8,000 pounds per brake. Yeah, it's air, which also means that you have a delay to get the air there and, and stuff like that. So it's just... It's just all sorts of sketchy. Come on, slow down. Thank you. And uh, so on and so forth. And, and like I said, I'm just I'm just happy that everybody was all right. No one was was hurt. And, and 
so on and so forth. Can I get over? Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah, I just basically cut them off, but that's fine. But everything's all right. Um, I'm not I'm not sore or nothing. I've got pretty much braced. Uh, I had my foot on the clutch and fully on the brake, so and so I was pushed against the seat, and uh, everything was fine on my end. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that uh, the guy uh, that I hit will be sore. Oh, good, thank God. I don't have to fall in this one. Uh, will be sore, but I, I'm pretty sure he will be fine. Uh, he did lose his car. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to see uh, the pictures, I don't think I'm going to put them on, uh, on this video or YouTube to, you know, make it any bigger than what it needs to be. I think when I, it, they are on Discord, so if you uh, want to join the Discord and check it out, go ahead. Link is in the description. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's uh, what happened yesterday. It was probably the scariest thing I've ever done uh, in my life, you know. And, and like I said, to the scariest thing is is basically being in control of somebody's life and you don't know them is the biggest, like, holy shit moment, you know. And, yeah, I mean, it, it was just scary. I mean, I'm glad I hit him head on instead of like in the driver door or, you know, somewhere else. But Go straight on. Gee whiz. I mean, it's, it was a, it was an eye awakening or eye opening experience, I guess you could say. But like I said, I'm just, I'm just happy everybody's all right and everybody, you know, is good to go and, and so on and so forth. Anyway, we have nine hours, just under nine hours to drive before this moron gets tired again. We have uh, 692 miles. Like I said, we'll probably drive until about 500 miles. That'll be about halfway. And uh, not real sure if we got to go through, um, well, I know you have to go through Utah, but I'm not sure if we're going to take I-70 through there or uh, I-80, which would be going through, well, it has to be I-70 because I, uh, I-80 isn't a thing yet with Wyoming. Or at least, wait, do I have Wyoming? I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. Do I have Wyoming? Oh, okay. So we're gonna take I eighty down to Highway six to I seventy, and then to uh, Denver. Never been to Colorado yet, so this is gonna be the first one. Probably, if I had to guess, probably stop in uh, in Utah somewhere. Probably right here, if I had to guess. There we go. Probably just stop there. Not too terribly far. But all right, let's go. There we go. Everybody get in order. But yeah, we'll probably stop in Salt Lake City, Utah tonight. Uh, and then uh, probably sleep because we do still have uh, 35 hours to get this done. Get this trip done. So definitely not in uh, too much of a hurry on that aspect. And then uh, in the next week, we will uh, have another episode. So, so yeah, hopefully uh, you, you enjoyed that story. Uh, and if you have any uh, stories like that that you've been a part of, let me know in the comments uh, if you guys, you know, care to share. I know Mr. Craig, he, uh, he told me on Discord that his wife was in an accident. And, uh, yeah, uh, the picture of that one was was scary. I mean, the, the whole back end was smashed in. Like I said, if you want to uh, be a part of the Discord and see the pictures of uh, my accident and uh, whoever else cares to share, uh, then the link is in the description below. Uh, but other than that, that is uh, what happened. That's why I'm recording on a Friday and uh, why I had a ton of paperwork. And that is also why I just want you guys to uh, be safe. Uh, when you are driving, just pay attention, uh, especially, especially if it's raining, snowing, hailing, uh, icy, uh, or even if it just got done raining and the sun's out and it's shining on the ground. Always be careful uh, when you are driving. Anything can happen at any moment. Split seconds is all it takes uh, to uh, have a good day, to uh, have a car total, or uh, even fatality. So... Just be careful out there, you know. I know everybody texts and drive, uh, you know, don't. But, you know, there's only so much one person can do. The only person that can actually change that would be you. Um, so, you know, like I said, just, just be careful out there. 
Um, try not to do anything too stupid. And uh, just be patient, you know. Um, don't, you know, don't do the whole road rage thing. I know I do it too. Uh, not in the semi, but, you know, like in the car, um, you know, I try to, I get pissed off and stuff like that. Just try to, try to just stay calm, relax, and so on and so forth. We must be in Utah. That's why we have a port of entry. But, yeah, just, I mean, take it slow. I mean, we have more time than money. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, of course, some things just are going to happen, and we can't do much about it, but... Oh, you bastard. But we just, uh... Just got to just take our time and, and uh, just don't... Just not uh, do anything too crazily stupid. So, that's all I got to say about that. I've discovered a new waypoint. Viewpoint. Not waypoint. Viewpoint. All right. So... We were 76,000 pounds earlier. We should be lost of uh, probably a few gallons of fuel by now. So we should be probably closer to 76,000. Here, I'll just park on the uh, on the scale with you. There we go. Took a little time. Now, in real life, you don't stop on the scale. You just keep going unless they tell you to stop. So that's kind of interesting. And right here. And we are... Oh, okay. 76,000 pounds. So the same as earlier. I did. Holy shit, dude. You almost rear-ended me. Oh, there we go. We could have slept right there. Wow. Well, it's a viewpoint, but it's raining. I don't want to check out the viewpoint when it's raining. All right. Let's get up to speed. Like I said, we should be in Salt Lake City any minute. And okay, here comes a truck. Probably get some fuel in Salt Lake City as well. Nice short on ramp as per usual. High wind area. High winds are always fun. In the uh, oh, wrong one. High five. F5. Uh, can we do it again? There we go. Da, 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 da. But yeah, high winds are never fun. Let's see. Right lane is closed. So because I see that sign, I'm going to get over before everybody slams on the brakes. Nope, 55. We're doing 54. That guy's probably going to cut me off. He better not. Thank you. See, look, you should have got over earlier, and everything would have been fine. There we go. I'm just speed back up. Try not to hit that sign there. There we go. Should be good to go. Oh, uh, let me tell you. Now that uh, the wreck happened and everything else, everybody's been calling me and, and trying to see everything is all right and everything else. And it's like, I'm fine, I promise. But... Anyway. Oh, yeah, we got one big corner left. And then uh, we'll be done. So we got $643 from uh, Yvonne. Which isn't very good at all. Because I paid him, or paid them more than uh, they gave back, basically. So that's not great. But definitely need to uh, get another truck. So we can keep hiring people. Um, we do have a big loan out at this particular moment. I think it's like 400000 but we'll check that out once we get into Salt Lake. And uh, so on and so forth. Like I said, Salt Lake is just right around the corner, so you're going to take too terribly long. It's been 28 minutes already, but these, vid vid these videos are going to be a little bit longer anyway, just because it does take time to get places. But we're traveling about 500 miles, so that's not bad either. But it's been raining all day long. Here in the game and everywhere, it's been raining all day. And hailing and, and snowing and so on and so forth. But anyways, so that's what happened. Yeah, it was it was just crazy. And this is the guy that uh, took forever on the scale, so we're just going to fly past him at Mach 80. However you say that. Here's a double here, or a Rocky Mountain double. Pretty much that's what I drive, that back trailer there. I uh, have a box truck, or not a box truck, but uh, I have a box that goes onto the truck, which basically makes it a box, box truck. Uh, and then I have uh, basically what you would call a mule train. There we go. I'll we'll just simmer down here. Salt Dare Drive. All right. 
I'm gonna have to simmer down a little bit more with the, the brake and the uh, Turn right. and the Jake. There we go. And that sign is placed perfectly in the way. Gotta love it. Make sure we'll make it around that corner. Perfect. That looks like a bitumen plant right there too. Something like that. Gas of some sort. Keep left and then turn left. Alright. Avalanche shelter. Okay, that's interesting. Turn left. I can't remember if we went to Utah either, so this could potentially be the first time we've been here as well. The roads ain't orange or yellow, so that's also interesting. There we go. We'll just take a wide corner. Oh, man. I didn't even get started before the light turned red. Gee whiz. They really want you to get out of the way, don't they? There we go. Pick up some speed. I think it's going to be on the left-hand side. I'm not necessarily for sure. But it is 60 miles an hour, so we'll just speed up to 60. Why not? Do it about 43, 44 now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Should be a uh, truck shop or, or not truck shop, a truck dealer here. Salt Lake City Discover. Oh, okay, so apparently I've never been to Utah before because that's one out of ten. Beep. Oh shit, he started going. I, th I thought it was my turn. There we go. And what gear am I in? Second? There we go. Keep it going. Oh, we're going to race you. We're going to race you. And you're going to win. Probably. Come on. Speed up. Speed up. Nope, we lost. Wait, oh, it's, it's a Volvo. I don't think we have any Volvos. So that's kind of interesting. All right, where's the entrance at? Okay. Don't worry, dude. You can just come on over. All right, so we're just going to pull in here. Hopefully not hit anything. Truck coming this way, but that's fine. Okay, let's find a new route. You're fine, Siri, I promise. All right, so let's just come in here. We'll uh, have a little back-in session. Of course, I'm going to do that in camera, hopefully. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull on up and then flip a U-turn. Hopefully, there's no, like, hidden barriers here. That suck. But no one's here, so we're just going to keep on turning. Keep on turning. There we go. And because that fence is there, I just want to keep going like so. There we go. Straighten up last minute. Oh, how do I? There we go. Oh, nope, wrong way. I backed them uh, mule train so much I try to drive one, or uh, try to back it up like one. And it just doesn't work out that way. Alright. In the line here. And basically gonna be golden. Alright. How much, how much more room we got? Not not a whole lot. <laughs> nope, that's it. Because we're we're on the uh, we're on the fence. So right, right there. Beautiful. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below how you thought about this uh, this trip here, and then we will finish it in the next episode. Uh, whenever we do that, uh, let me know. Uh, what you guys think about my day yesterday. Uh, it was uh, not fun whatsoever. But anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Just truly, truly mean a lot. And I'll catch you all in the next one. And you all, take care.